Electricity is an integral part of modern society, powering everything from our homes and workplaces to transportation systems and electronic devices. Understanding the fundamentals of electrical currents is essential in order to fully comprehend how electricity works. There are two types of electrical current, AC, alternating current, and DC, direct current. AC, alternating current, and DC, direct current, are the two basic types of electrical current. AC current is a type of electrical current that changes direction periodically, while DC current flows in a constant direction. 1. Brief History and Discovery of AC and DC Currents The discovery and understanding of electrical currents began in the early 19th century. The famous inventor Thomas Edison invented the first electric power system using DC current in the late 1800s. However, the Serbian-American engineer Nikola Tesla created the first AC power system in the late 1880s, which was more efficient and was eventually adopted as the standard for electrical power distribution. 2. Understanding AC Current AC current is produced by generators that use a rotating magnet to produce a changing magnetic field. This magnetic field induces a current in a set of stationary coils, creating an AC current. The waveforms of AC current can be sinusoidal, square, or triangular. The most common AC waveform is sinusoidal, which has a smooth and continuous fluctuation between positive and negative values. AC current has a frequency, measured in hertz, hz, which represents the number of wave cycles that occur in one second. The standard frequency for AC power in most countries is 50 or 60 hertz. Common AC applications. AC current is used in a wide range of applications, including household appliances, heating and cooling systems, lighting, and electric motors. It is the primary type of current used for power transmission and distribution. 3. Understanding DC current. DC current is produced by batteries, fuel cells, and other devices that produce a constant flow of electrons in one direction. DC current has a constant voltage, which is the same at all points in the circuit. It does not change direction and has a fixed intensity, measured in amperes, A. Unlike AC current, DC current does not have a frequency. Common DC applications. DC current is used in a variety of applications, including electronic devices, such as computers, mobile phones, and digital cameras, and transportation, such as electric cars and trains. 4. Differences between AC and DC currents. The main differences between AC and DC current are their waveforms, frequency, voltage, and intensity. AC current has a sinusoidal waveform, a fixed frequency, and a constantly changing voltage and direction, while DC current has a constant voltage and direction. 5. Applications of AC and DC currents. Electrical power generation. Both AC and DC currents are used in power generation. AC is the main form of current used in power grids around the world. DC, on the other hand, is used in smaller scale power generations, such as batteries and solar panels. Transportation systems. AC and DC currents are also used in transportation systems. AC is used in trains, while DC is used in cars and buses. This is because AC motors are more efficient for high power applications while DC motors are better suited for lower power applications. Electronic devices and appliances. Most electronic devices and appliances use DC current. However, they usually require an AC to DC converter to operate. Some appliances, such as refrigerators and air conditioners, use AC current. 6. AC and DC currents in electrical systems. Electrical power transmission. AC is the primary form of current used in power transmission due to its ability to be easily stepped up or down in voltage using transformers. DC, on the other hand, is used in high voltage direct current, HVDC, transmission for long distance power transmission. Electrical power distribution. AC is also the primary form of current used in power distribution, as it can be easily transformed to lower voltages for use in homes and businesses. Electrical safety and regulations. Both AC and DC have their own set of safety regulations and guidelines. AC is more dangerous due to the higher voltage levels used in power grids, while DC is less dangerous but can still pose a risk of electric shock. 7. Conclusion and future of AC and DC currents. In summary, 
Both AC and DC currents have their advantages and disadvantages, and are used in a wide range of applications including power generation, transportation systems, and electronic devices and appliances. The future of AC and DC currents looks to be focused on improving efficiency and reducing environmental impact. There is increasing interest in renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, which will require new technologies to efficiently store and distribute power. Additionally, advancements in power electronics will continue to make AC and DC more interoperable and improve overall efficiency. In conclusion, understanding the principles of AC and DC currents is vital for anyone interested in electricity and electrical engineering. With the growing demand for sustainable energy sources, the future of AC and DC currents is bright, with new innovations and technologies emerging to improve efficiency and reliability. By knowing the differences between these two types of current, we can make informed decisions about their applications and use them safely and effectively in our daily lives.